ferries. They're the main access for most of British Columbia's islands, and the provincial government owned BC Ferries, the largest ferry fleet in the world with 37 active ferries, is responsible for almost all the ferry service in the province. So, in today's video, I'll rank each of their retired vessels that they've ever had in their 63 year history. And in a second video, we'll go over all the active and future ones. It would just be too long for one video. We'll go over all the retired ships in 10 words or less, with ranking appearing on screen with their name. Each ship will get their own video at some point in the future, so I won't go into detail, I'll just keep it to the 10 words or less and the ranking. Some pictures may be the ship under a different name or different company, as some have very few pictures in BC Ferries colors, if any. In fact, for some, I could only find one, maybe two pictures. So, without further ado, let's get into this very long list of the BC Ferries 39 retired ferries. MV Quayu, 9 out of 10. Prime ferry design, in my opinion, it looks very good. SS Smokwa, 5 out of 10. Odd, especially with those curves, but did the job. MV Jervis Queen, 8 out of 10. Classic vintage fairy. MV George S. Pearson, 3 out of 10. Looks fairly unstable and weird. MV Psy Peck, 4 out of 10. What is with those curves? MV Sunshine Coast Queen, 2 out of 10. Somebody forgot to put the bow on. MV Schlott Queen, 3 out of 10. Very unproportional funnel. Otherwise, it, it's okay, but again, they forgot the bow. MV Langdale Queen, 10 out of 10. Very old, but reliable, and I love her for it. MV Dogwood Princess, 1 out of 10. Why BC Fairies? J just why? MV Dogwood Princess 2, 2 out of 10. Replace the first one. It's better. But, but why do you need it? MV Pender Queen, 7 out of 10. Old, looks okay, got the job done. MV Princess of Vancouver, 9 out of 10. Former CP ship, almost perfect. MV Queen of the Islands, 7 out of 10. Flat front, but it works. MV Salt of Spring Queen, 4 out of 10. Weird flimsy stick superstructure. MV Vesuvius Queen, 4 out of 10. Small superstructure, but it works. Amazing. But why? J just why? Classic BC Ferry design. Miss it in today's ships. MV Pacific Cat Explorer, 3 out of 10. Expensive, and it didn't even work. BC Ferries. MV Pacificat Discovery, 3 out of 10. They, uh, they apparently needed a second one. MV Pacificat Voyager, 3 out of 10. Y you've got to be joking. A third? Ay, ay, ay. MV Albert J. Savoy, 7 out of 10. Small, but I like that. MV Calabardi, 7 out of 10. Did, jo did the job fairly well. Also small. MV Queen of the North, 10 out of 10. Best BC Fairy by far. Th that's just sad. Th that that's just sad. MV Queen of Esquimalt, 8 out of 10. Back to the classic designs. I love it. MV Queen of Tuasin, 8 out of 10. Second best BC Ferry design. Love it. MV Queen of Saanich, 6 out of 10. Looks outdated, but worked well until the end. MV Queen of Vancouver, 6 out of 10. 
like the red lettering, but old and outdated. MV Queen of Prince Rupert, 9 out of 10. I love little ships. Best small BC ferry ever. MV Mill Bay, 4 out of 10. What is up with that superstructure? MV Queen of Chilliwack, 8 out of 10. Odd, one of a kind, but I like it a lot. MV Tanaka, 8 out of 10. Small, but useful. MV Queen of Burnaby, 7 out of 10. Love this design a lot. MV Queen of Nanaimo, 7 out of 10. I love that they made another of that previous design. MV Hound Sound Queen, 6 out of 10. Did the job, but a very odd and weird superstructure. MV Nimkish, 8 out of 10. Love the proportions on small ships. MV North Island Princess, 8 out of 10. Sweeping hull, a blocky superstructure. MV Bone Queen, 9 out of 10. Best of her class. MV Mayan Queen, 7 out of 10. Different than her two sisters, but looks good. I hope everyone liked the video. Don't forget to stay tuned for the active ships, which will be an identical video to this, but the active and uh, future ships. And so, until next time, I'll see you guys later. MV Powell River Queen, 5 out of 10, the third sister, and is very blocky.